Do you know what one of the worst English learning mistakes is? I'll give you a hint. It's not a grammar mistake. It's not a pronunciation problem, and it's not a lack of confidence to speak. These things can be corrected and improved. I'll tell you about this mistake in just a moment, but first I want to tell you a story about two of my students. One student, I'll call him Evan, started taking classes with me when he was a beginner. He had a lot of problems. His pronunciation was very difficult to understand, and listening was almost impossible for him. He just didn't have natural ability for learning English. But Evan took class almost every day. He did homework on the bus. He kept practicing listening, even though it was frustrating. And he studied with me continuously for a year and a half. And by the end of that time, he had improved a lot. He went up two levels from beginner to pre-intermediate to intermediate. He was able to have conversations in English and even work for an English-speaking manager, and it made me really happy to see all his progress. Now compare Evan with my other student, who I will call Laura. Laura was at the intermediate level when she started studying with me. She signed up for a semester-long course. But she missed or canceled her class many times. She didn't study at home, and then she took several months off because she was busy. She was an on and off student. When she returned, she began taking classes again. But she was at the same level as when she started. In fact, she had to relearn some of the things she had previously studied but forgotten. What was the difference between Evan and Laura? Evan studied consistently, even though he worked a lot and didn't have much time. He always took a few minutes to work on his English, and he was successful in improving. But Laura was not consistent. She stopped and started her study several times, and she didn't make any progress, even though the time was passing. So, one of the worst mistakes you can make when learning English is to be inconsistent. If you are an on and off student, your English won't improve. It might even get worse because you'll forget what you already learned. But if you study consistently and you have persistence, you don't give up. You will make great progress over time. One problem is that it can be hard to keep up your motivation when studying alone, and that's why the new premium lesson program at Espresso English is a continuous learning program. When you join, you'll get fresh new lessons every week, so it's easy to keep up the rhythm of your studying. Also, you can download and save all the lessons, so if you need to travel or study without an internet connection, you can save the lessons on your computer and study any time. Do you want to improve your English continuously? Sign up today for the premium lesson program and take advantage of the special early registration discount. You'll get a lower price if you join during the month of April. Just click one of the buttons under this video to sign up monthly or yearly. Don't be an on and off student, and don't give up on your English learning. Keep going, and you will reach your goals. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you inside the premium lesson program.